Sabha has resumed and started transacting business, taken up various important issues of the people. But unfortunately, our Congress and its close friends, they do not realize that they are not only harming the country, but they are harming themselves. Today, important issue like uh, the terrorist attack on Gurdaspur police station was raised in the House. The government also intervened. But unfortunately, our Congress friends have gone into the well of the House. They don't even mind disturbing the House in an issue of national security is taken up in the House. They should have gone back to their seats. They should have joined the discussion and they should have given some suggestions. What all I said is that the serious incident of a terrorist attack has taken place in Gurdaspur. Government of India is in touch with the Punjab government and extending all the support that is required. The Home Minister has spoken to the Chief Minister of Punjab and once the encounter is over, the government is willing to make a statement in the House and also to discuss the matter. In such matters, there should not be any politics. We should all speak with one voice. That is my appeal to the opposition parties. Fortunately, many of the opposition parties... Please, please. Are bhai. Are bhai. Unfortunately, though, fortunately, though, many of the opposition parties have joined together in condemning this terrorist attack and also expressing solidarity. It is unfortunate the main opposition party which has ruled the country for years together has started disturbing even those statements also. This is sending a wrong signal. They should understand. I appeal to them, please at least on issues of national importance and national security related. The entire country should speak with one voice and more so a senior party like Congress party. Secondly, today we were discussing issues were raised about the farmers issues. Outside people are making comments. Some people are taking on Padayatra also. But inside, in the farmers' issues discussed, they are not willing to join the discussion. They don't want the members' voice to be heard. The sugarcane farmers' issues, the Karnataka farmer suicides, which are happening on daily basis, and also the problem of compensation to the cyclone-affected, calamity-affected people. Lot of important issues were raised by honorable members from different parties. But unfortunately, again, the opposition party Congress did not allow them to be heard in a peaceful manner because the people of the country want the parliament to function, people want their important issues to be highlighted, and people want the response of the government. Government from the day one is very clear that we are ready to discuss any issue, every issue, as per the rules, but unfortunately, they, they are continuing with their this thing. They have not only went to the well of the house, they were carrying play cards. They are not only doing that, they came to the ruling party side also. They were trying to obstruct the members from raising farmers' issues, blocking their faces on the television. These are all unfortunately. This sort of cheap tactics is not going to help them in retrieving their lost ground.